Imagine this, you're dutifully following your budget, conserving every penny and making responsible financial decisions. At least you think so. But unknown to you, there is a secret plot unfolding that is emptying your bank account without your knowledge. My friends, today I'm going to talk to you about some everyday habits and choices that are secretly ruining your hard earned money. The first one is craving for the latest gadgets. You know how it feels when the latest smartphones with alluring features and crazy promotion enters the market. I personally find it very hard to resist that temptation. But the truth is that giving into the temptation of upgrading all the time will quickly deplete your bank account. Technology is advancing rapidly, which feeds into the loop of constant new releases that again produces the need for us to stay current by upgrading our devices. Staying ahead and in line with the times sounds like a responsible choice, but at what cost? Let's look at it in a little bit more detail. Take a look at the cost of the newest smartphones. Prices continue to increase with each reputation and they are now breaking the threshold of $1000 with latest iPhones and Galaxies. These gadgets undoubtedly offer latest features like advanced cameras, great looking screens, faster processors. But do we really need each of those advancements in our daily life? You can save a significant amount of money by being patient and restraining the need to get your hands on the latest technology. One cool trick is to tell your mind that this new technology is again going to evolve and within few months, the next phone is going to come out. So tell yourself that you're waiting for that next release and not going for the current release. And you know, this happens. It just takes a few months for this latest technology to become obsolete. When you take into account the additional costs of subscription, phone covers and uh, other accessories, this constant cost of upgrading becomes really unsustainable. Next on my list is the trap of deals and discounts. Are you somebody who constantly browse all the deal sites looking for the best deal out there for just about anything? Do you know that this seemingly innocent practice has the potential to empty your bank account? Now don't get me wrong, I'm all about finding a bargain and not wasting your money. However, I do think that going crazy during a sale it's not the smartest way to shop. And there are two reasons for that. Number one, you tend to spend much beyond the limit that you might have set for yourself if you go into a sale. That is of course, assuming that you did set a limit for yourself, which you must do. And the second one is you end up with too many things that you might not even need. Finding a fantastic deal or a very fashionable item can be really exciting. These impulsive buys, may feel like a sensible choice in the moment, but have a very high price tag, both in terms of immediate cost and in terms of its impact on your long-term financial health. Are you prone to making a impulsive choice when you see a deal that is simply too good to be true? By identifying and recognizing this problem, you can create scoping strategies that can help you avoid falling into this trap. See, this is an era when you can buy pretty much anything just by few clicks or few swipes on your smartphones. So what you should do is to have fewer shopping applications on your smartphone and avoid the habit of browsing unnecessarily for looking for new deals. Next on the list is the convenience of credit cards. Let's talk about the ease of using credit cards. It's a great device. It let's us make transactions without the need of carrying huge amount of cash. And they do sometimes come with points and rewards. But what may feel like a prudent money choice at moment of time may lead to debt and eventual financial problems. See, credit card tempts us to make purchases beyond our immediate means by their allure of flexibility and rewards. But then the interest rates that the credit card companies charge are a big financial trap. So while making a purchase, even if making that minimum payment seem feasible, keep in mind that unless you pay the full amount due on the credit card at before the end of the month, you'll be paying these very high interest rates. So do you pay off all your credit card balances in full every month or do you find yourself carrying balances? Credit card interest rates are very high. They are frequently between 15 to 25 percent APR. So at a high level you imagine like this if you make a $1,000 purchase on a credit card but if you take an year to pay that balance off and say if your interest rate is 20 percent back of the envelope calculation is that you'll end up paying about $200 in interest frequently more. But this way, it's extra money that you could have saved or invested for your own financial future would be wasted on paying interest. It's critical to establish healthy credit card use practices to avoid getting into this trap of paying interest. And if you are already in this trap, make a plan, pay off the debt before taking any new debt or before making any new purchase. The next one is very interesting. It's excessive use of energy. 
So using more energy than you absolutely need is not only bad for the environment, it can also drain your finances. So do you remember to turn off your appliances and lights when they're not in use? Probably not. And it's okay because we all make this mistake. But it's high time we did look at this habit and change this habit. Electronic gadgets, when they are left in standby mode, continue to consume some energy. These so-called energy vampires may be responsible for a good portion of your electricity bill. Make it a practice to turn off and unplug charger, lighting strips and even appliances when they are not in use. Another place where energy is wasted in household is lighting. Are you still using traditional incandescent bulbs? Those bulbs use a lot of energy. Consider switching to LED bulbs, which cost a tad more in the beginning but they last much more longer and more importantly use very less comparatively much lesser energy than traditional bulbs and when it time comes to upgrade your gadgets make sure you are selecting energy efficient gadgets a very tight set of energy efficiency requirements are met by appliances if they have an energy star label on them such appliances may cost a bit more in the beginning but you'll be saving a lot more money in ongoing electricity costs by using those appliances i think we all are guilty of wasting energy in our house in plain sight but let's step out in the house and into our cars there is again something which we are all guilty of that is negligence in automobile maintenance when you own a car you have certain obligation and one obligation which we typically fail on is doing timely maintenance delaying or even skipping maintenance activities may seem like a sensible choice when you are short on money and your car is running fine but over a period of time this can often lead to a much bigger expense in fact you may save money on expenses and extend the life of your vehicle by making sure you are doing maintenance on time let's take example of oil changes this is one area where carelessness can be extremely expensive the vital parts of the engine are lubricated by engine oil. The engine oil lowers frictions and guards against any other damage to the engine. But if you let the tainted old oil set and never do oil change, then your engine parts may experience problems due to friction and may even fail in the long run. Same is true for neglecting the check engine light that often comes up in the car. These modern automobiles have a lot of advanced diagnostic tools that might be warning you of potential problems with your car. Do not neglect those. Pay attention to your vehicle now. You can save yourself from high maintenance and repair cost in future. The last one that I want to talk to you to about today is lifestyle creep. Lifestyle creep or lifestyle inflation is the propensity of expenditure to rise along with income. It typically happens when people raise their living standards to start matching their new higher income. Say you get a raise at work and now or you switch jobs and you're making a lot more money. People will typically look for say buying a bigger house and you may be able to afford that bigger house. But what about the additional payments that come with a larger house like mortgage payment, bigger heating wheels, more repairs. You got to think about higher upkeeping requirements and insurance as well. See, it's, it's very natural to feel the need to upgrade. So you, while you may wish for a bigger house, it's very important to think if it's a sensible financial decision. Look at overall expense and ensure that it's in line with your salary and it's not going to impact your long-term financial goals. A very similar thing happens when people upgrade their cars the moment they get one small increment. And what they're looking at? The monthly payment on the car. But what they forget to see is that they now with the new car, the insurance requirements are going to be much higher. The maintenance cost would be higher. Fuel efficiencies may not be there. Same is true with vacation. With more money coming in, people start traveling to more exotic locations, staying in fancier hotels, eating in fancier restaurants. So while it's important for the family to visit new places, meet people, see the world, you need to avoid the trap of overspending on vacation. Again, everything is important. Living in the right home, giving good home to your family, driving a safe, secure car and going on vacations. What I'm proposing is that set your limits for what you can spend for all of these. And when your income increases, do not try and increase your allocation to every category in the same proportion. Maybe traveling is more important for your family. So you may want to allocate a higher percentage of your increase to travel but make sure you do not upgrade your say home or a car at the same time so you can choose one or a few areas where you really want to experience life better now that your income has increased but make sure that this creep does not expand to every aspect of your life my friends create a balance between enjoyment and saving for your future my friends you may have discovered that you already knew about these items that I spoke about, but you wanted somebody else to clearly lay it out for you. And you may realize that you are in fact 
doing one or more of these things and quietly squandering away your hard earned money. But don't worry, the first step in financial enlightenment is awareness. Which one of these have impacted you more? Or do you have other items to add to the list? Let us know in comments. If you like this video, check out this other video from the channel. I would also love if you like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.